As part of effort to provide succor to survivors of domestic violence and sexual abuse, the Akiti State Government, in partnership with the Federal Government and Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, has inaugurated a 208-bed transit home and skill development center in Aduekiti. The commissioning was part of activities marking this year's 16-day global campaign against gender-based violence in the state. And speaking at the inauguration, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, Hajiya Sadia Umar Farooq, said the facility contains an administrative block, a creche clinic, a 250-seater conference hall with well-equipped skill acquisition centre. I'd like to challenge the United States Gender-Based Violence Committee to reciprocate this empowering gesture by devising a sustainable facility management mechanism for this excellent facility. One that will outlive not only my government, but also every successive administration for a long time to come. This model 208-bed um, fancy home for victims of domestic, domestic violence is aimed at providing lifelong skills for adaptive and positive behavior for abused women and girls to enable them to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life. Therefore, this facility is being commissioned at the right time, considering the impact of COVID-19 lockdown on women and girls, which led to the increase in gender-based violence during the lockdown. 